Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So, we have captured the Rizborn homeworld of Fad. And we are slowly pushing them back here to, let's say, to the west. They got a few high value systems around here which I intend to destroy or capture especially the ones with Adamantium and Quadronix. I wanna capture these two systems and, and consume the rest. We are also dis capturing one of these lodestone systems. So we're gonna activate this one and after we're then with this lodestone we're gonna go to Farber, the second one in this part of the galaxy. And then the rest will be the other the other rejuvenator will have to deal with that unless we get there first. So we're gonna see where that leads. In the meantime let's take a look. Got a scavenger around here, but we don't have any curiosities to explore. One that we see is at Volans and Andromeda. Rather, an Andromeda. Okay. So we got the scavenger here, and their fleet is not attacking us. I'm gonna take that chance and try to get over there. Okay. Horatio has the truth again but I'm gonna refuse that because I don't want want it so let's end got a hacking operation left so we could send it down to Gobris let's see electric to Gobris it will take seven turns try to accelerate there let's use the piggyback as well to get some more space we're also gonna remove the back doors that we have here because we won't need them okay okay we need to start this hack once more looks like it okay Continue on. Got another voting. Gonna stick to our militarist option. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have the tensor algorithms available with the adamantian weaponry plus turret inter interference missiles and AMP weapon which removes the staples target weaponry. Now we're gonna go after wave function control to get the ice colonization tech. Okay, what else we have? Basic entropy torpedoes, endless ship design, so now our ships will start as elites. Basic anti gluon beam, flash cams for extra manpower capacity, and plus four command points on Empire. And we can also build the Ministry of Truth. Okay. Hostile trace detected. That's not surprising. So let's get another piggyback going here. And let's drop an accelerator. And Zion got compromised. Okay, I need to start a 
reintegration here due to that. Now since we have additional points available, let's get another ship down here. Got three reapers, a couple of three butchers and three killers. Let's get another butcher here. Let's merge these fleets. And our hero got injured. Now oh, that's a bummer. Must have been a hack. Okay. Okay, what else we have here? Yanis and Octans have 3D printing online, so let's take a look at those. What else can we do? We can get another level 4 modernization going. That's something that I intend to do. First, let's see where should we do it. Gemini or... Zakor. I suppose Zakor is a good place. Uh, okay, never mind. I didn't look. So, another place is Gemini or Vega from the best systems. So, let's upgrade Gemini. Okay, let's see. If we were to send a craver this way, the system would become unhappy. However, I'm gonna stick to this because I want to exchange this population a bit. So let's get the feeding pits going. And let's increase our happiness a bit. We can get a lot more food by having these epistas on the sterile world, so let's exchange that. Okay, that's better, I suppose. So let's keep it like this. Once the feeding pits gets activated, we'll get much more happiness here okay in the meantime we could get another lodestone link so let's get that one running and let's move the fleets okay our economic behemoth has arrived at lupus so let's start mining here I don't know how I did that, but I have missed the Quadranix on Trime, so let's go over there and let's get that going. Now let's look at Yanis. How does this look like here? Okay, we could get another lodestone link here. Got one tiny, one small and one large. So we could get another fizzy here, so let's get that going. What do we have here? Bunch of shuttles and one station. Let's see, what's that last curiosity here? Okay, battle data, hard to target battle tactics. Increases long range defenses used to keep distance in battle. Okay. Now let's go and check Andromeda if we can. 
In the meantime, let's look at octants. Now, we don't have anything interesting here. Could keep the 3D printing, but I'm thinking about changing it to the Planet Cracker. Okay. Okay, now here we've got the fleet. A couple of cells, one chamber. Let's remove them. They don't stand much of a chance. Okay, we got a couple of killers and one reaper, so we can use the gold turtle here. Okay, now let's join up with the fleet at Lahat. Let's take a look at Fad. We don't have anything here to do. Okay, the system is unhappy, mostly due to ownership penalties. Could grab some of these upgrades, or potentially the punctuated evolution foundation. Vanguard, the so-called Gritborn homeworld, is not capable of getting terraformed due to the fact that it's a unique planet. So the only thing left would be to get the microwave pipes. After that, I'm going to activate the Planet Cracker. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Wave function control is on. Now, I'm going to get the Adamantian alloys for the Adamantian enhancer. Germany got compromised. We need to get some defenses here. So let's get an encryption on Germany. We've got a pirate mark on Lost. And then level up on our hero. So let's see. Renegade Master, not interested. Vox Populi as well. Could get the Fleet Black Market, but I'm more interested in increasing the capabilities of my ships. So let's get the hull plating absorption. Changes here, nothing here. Friend of food has come to an end. And we got a battle at Trime. Not too concerned. They are short range, so are we. But they don't have that much firepower com compared to me, so let's go for Turtle. Okay, so now let's start mining the Quadranex. Okay, it'll work for 40 turns. It's quite a long time. Now let's check this curiosity. A life form. Okay. A Bagaba population. Okay, so now that we've explored all of this, this part of the galaxy, let's move on. 
I suppose it's slowly time to start the ground invasion here at Lahat. You have more than enough manpower to deal with them, so... But before we do that, I'm gonna... Hmm, let's see what we have here. A couple of Reapers. I wanna have another Reaper in this fleet. And we can potentially throw in an additional Marauder here. Okay, let's start the ground invasion. Let's go for the Blitz Tactics. Okay, there we go. And then stand a chance. Okay, we've captured the system. Now let's take a look at that. Not too, too interesting, so let's simply consume it. Although, on the other hand, I'm quite interested in how exactly will pillage work in this case. It says it will, we will gain these resources, but will it be per turn or... I'm gonna try this out. Hmm. Okay, so it's something like this, huh? Okay, we're gonna wait here and see how that goes. Okay, now let's see. Now let's send this behemoth to Justium and I'm gonna start mining that Giga Lattice there. There is also a curiosity over here, so let's check that out. And let's end the turn and continue. Okay, Nair got successfully hacked. Hmm, could injure the figurehead. Or we could embed a sleeper. Let's embed one sleeper, and after that I'm gonna injure the figurehead. Okay, let's get a piggyback going and one additional accelerator. Okay, Zach, we got compromised. Another truce proposal. Yeah, we could start another ground invasion here. Let's get on with that. Could make another pillage, but that's not worth it. So let's consume this world. Okay, and now that we're done here, it's time to move on to Gobris. They're sending a geist this way. Can use this fleet to get rid of it, so let's move it here. I'm gonna blockade this system. Okay. They send another colonizer to Tor. So it looks like I'll need to blockade that system as well, so... Hmm, we could send this fleet down there. It's a bit risky, but... Or we could send simply one ship. For example, this harasser might prove more than enough to blockade that place and... Get rid of that outpost. Okay, let's blockade here. Now let's end the turn. Now Gobris, 
I want to capture that world simply because it has those resources and we've managed to get the trade clearing bureau okay Electra has nothing to do so we could change here something let's start terraforming these worlds got exoscience stations here so let's boost the science a bit let's also build the microwave pipes here and we could start building the lodestone link now let's build the sim camp as well with that much mm, manpower on in this place we can get a lot of extra industry okay another level up on our photo bomber could grab the joy initiative let's do that and personal networking will be next okay fad on the other hand could grab the punctuated evolution foundation but what I think we should do is get some fitting pots going first to boost that approval a bit After that, let's build this evolution foundation. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's destroy this Geist if we can. Okay, it has retreated back to Gobras. So that's good. Okay, let's check this curiosity, what we've got here. Some encounter remains. Okay, got some Hyperium. And an event. Hmm. You know, we get extra food on Baron Worlds for 12 turns. Not bad. Okay, so since we've got that, let's send this Horatio to Ducey for now. And let's continue. Another truce proposal, which I won't take. We've lost the civilian ship there, but that doesn't surprise me. Okay, they are moving that guys this way again, so let's blockade once more. Okay, the human action completed on Duce, so. Let's send some of these probes down. Okay. Now you so have some aurora ways here. Let's get rid of them. Also, let's send some more cravers this way. Let's start colonizing the next planet. Could also get the sim camp. That wouldn't be a bad idea, I suppose. 
let's do something like this for now. Okay, now here, let's blockade the system. And let's continue. Okay, Adamantian Alloys is done. So now we have the Adamantian Enhancer available. Let's take a look. What else can we pick? Could get a bit better shielding. Have more than enough antimatter for that. So let's get that going. And after that, I'm gonna upgrade my ships. Now this is not most beneficial, this one is much better due to the fact that we have more than enough resources. Could also grab some of these. Hmm. also get the Queen class. And after that, gonna grab some of these upgrades here. Get some extra population in. Also get the expedition power. I suppose that's more than enough tech for now. Okay. That has the plant cracker going again. So now let's see. Let's get some extra manpower in here. Could also build that lodestone. It's not as beneficial here as some other worlds, but still useful. Okay, another level up here. Let's get the dust catalyzation. Okay, let's get rid of that geist again. There it goes. Let's continue. on those upgrades there, no changes there, and we've got a pirate fleet at Zakor. Could go for a turtle or we could go for power to shields. Got only one butcher here. One butcher, one reaper and a bunch of killers. Let's do it like this. It doesn't matter that much because they're either uh, way pretty weak. Let's get rid of the rest. There we go. Gloria has been restored, so now let's send this hero up to Farber. And let's see here, we've got one additional command upgrade available and three Wanderlust upgrades, so I suppose Bespoke Arms is 
of those command upgrades, just as I thought. Got three Wanderlust upgrades, and those are Transcendent Outlook and the Dust Catalyzation. Okay. Okay, let's take one more turn, and after that I'm gonna end this episode, because it's already time. Okay, we got a population bonus on the Calgaros. Got a lot of Harishims in our empire, looks like it. Okay, Lost is still a level 2 colony. Can upgrade that to level 3, so let's do that quickly. Let's also get the Optics Research Lab. Now let's see. Oh, looks like the Horatio got a carrier here, even a couple of them. And this is interesting. And they also changed their weaponry to laser. Hmm, let's take a look here. Go for power to shields, and I suppose this is the best option that we can take, considering their loadout. As far as I can tell, it's mostly lasers. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, let's go for power to shields. Got a Reaper in each lane, so that's good. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how that goes. One decisive victory and no losses. Very good. Very good. Gemini is working on the planet cracker again, so let's get the autonomous administration rolling. Also, this plant is quite mutinous, so let's get the feeding pits going. Let's exchange this population up a bit. Could send this Craver population here, and that way negate part of this unhappiness here. Let's do something like this. And let's take a look at Vega now. Now I want to change these monsoon planets to Terran ones. And let's get a level 4 modernization going here. And let's build the Lodestone Link. After that gonna work on these science upgrades and I suppose that's more than enough for now okay Gobris it's their second home planet now okay we could jam the commands I suppose that's the most beneficial way to do this Okay, let's see. Could start the ground invasion if we destroy this behemoth. So let's remove it. Let's use power to shields. Okay, we forced it back. Let's start the ground invasion already. Says that it was a minor victory, but we slaughtered them actually, or rather, almost. Okay, we'll have to continue that. Okay, 
And let's wait here. Let's send some probes to Imnos. Okay. And since it's over 30 minutes, I suppose it's time to end this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys at the next episode. See you around.